Hey guys, so I'm back on my YouTube channel again and I know this setup looks very familiar because my wife uses the exact same setup to cook and prepare so I'm gonna use it as well. So a lot of you requested for me to do a cooking vlog and for today I want to cook something that anyone could cook. It's very simple but it's just more of an elevated version of how I would normally do it. So we are eating Shin Ramyun. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but when I was in college, I would eat this all the time because it's very flavorful, siya, and you can eat it with rice and you can pretty much make it your own with however you feel like making it your own. So for today, I will be making this simple instant ramen a little bit more special by adding my own twist to it. So let's get started. So for the ingredients of what we're going to cook, we're going to start off first with shin ramyun. It doesn't need necessarily have to be this one, but I just like using Korean noodles in particular. And all the ingredients that I have complement this very well, so we're using this. Then, bean sprouts, peanut butter, carrots, butter, sesame oil, an egg, garlic, and an onion. And beyond that, just salt and pepper, and that's all that we need. So, let's start. Okay guys, so first things first, we need to start off with our vegetables. So, yung toge yung uunahin natin, so we're gonna blanch it. Basically, boil it in hot water for one minute, tapos put it in cold water after for a minute too. Then yung carrots ko rin, isasama ko siya para luto siya. Didn't you share this on my vlog already? Yeah, but this is a little bit better. So after 30 seconds, you have to pull out yung ano, toge natin then dunk it in cold water. The reason why is because that's what makes it crispy or crunch, crunchy, crunchy, yeah. So from hot to cold siya. Tapos we'll just set this aside and use this later. All right, so after that, we're gonna use the same pot. I just cleaned it lang. Then we're gonna put some olive oil. Super little lang, like probably, you know, a teaspoon. Then our veg, so that is our white onion and our garlic. Guys, you don't want to burn it, ah. Just make it a point na cook through lang siya. When your onions and garlic are cooked through na, you have to be super fast. So, unahin na natin yung butter natin para di siya masuno. So as soon as that goes in, sundan na natin with the peanut butter. Then if it looks a little too hot, you can raise it naman a little bit para mag-cool down yung pan ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. So when you get the consistency that looks like this, yun, nagiging okay na siya. We put peanut butter para medyo nati yung dating ng ramen natin. So with that being said, I am boiling water here. I will transfer. Ow, that is hot. That is super hot. Hold on. Ouch. Ouch. I want to try. So you're gonna put it in for probably two to three minutes. And remember, you can take it off. And since my init pa yung soup, it'll still cook its way through. So you don't wanna cook it 100%. Mga 80 to 90% there. Okay na siya. Kasi when you serve it, perfect na siya. So. Okay guys, so I whipped out my handy chopsticks para ma feel ko talaga yung total experience. So right now, it's actually almost relatively quite cooked. So since patayin mo pa rin yan, kumukulo siya, it'll still cook its way through. So I'm gonna transfer it now into this bowl. And if you subscribe to my wife, you know that this bowl is very famous. Kasi lahat ng recipe namin, ito yung bowl na ginagamit namin. So, we transfer. 
I don't want to spill anything. Mali yung anggam ba? Okay, whatever. There. Then, we're gonna add our toppings, which are the bean sprout and the carrots. And for plating shape, <laughs> I'm gonna do that right now. So we got our carrots. Then our bean sprout, which you just sprinkle around the sides. Whatever it lacks in looks, it makes up in taste. Guys, we are done. Does it look good, babe? You wouldn't eat it, but does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. So, when I was in college, I would eat this all the time because it was fast and masarap siya. But now that I'm a little bit older, I try to make it a little bit nicer so that masarap siya. So, I hope you guys try this as well. Make it, you know, make your loved ones try it or you can cook it for yourself. It really makes it feel like a totally different dish. So, I measured all the macronutrients in it from everything that's within it, basically. So, I'm gonna try my best to see how many calories this bowl of soup has and this is perfect for my dinner so tonight ito nakakainin ko diba so i hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope you like and subscribe and who knows i might vlog more cooking <laughs>